And we begin with our top story tonight. The family of a man shot to death by Buffalo police earlier this year is suing the city for what they believe was a wrongful death. Good evening, I'm Scott Levin. And I'm Mary Alice Demler. The family of Jose Hernandez Rossi, who was shot and killed by an officer in Black Rock this May, filed the federal lawsuit this week. Two on your side's Erica Brecker has the latest now. Initial police reports had indicated Jose Hernandez Rossi shot Officer Joseph Aquino in the ear, and that that is why Officer Justin Tedesco shot Hernandez Rossi when he tried to escape the scuffle. Days later, though, how Aquino was injured came into question because no gun was ever recovered. The lawsuit alleges the decedent was unarmed and posing no threat to anyone. The absence of a gun by itself is not relevant to the issue of what did Tedesco reasonably believe. Article 35.3 of New York's penal law justifies the use of physical force in attempting to arrest someone or prevent an escape. It even justifies use of deadly force when it's, quote, necessary to defend the police officer or another person from what the officer reasonably believes to be the use or imminent use of deadly physical force. Buffalo Police Attorney Tom Burton's point is that in the immediate aftermath of the altercation, Tedesco believed Aquino had been shot. Law doesn't require certainty. It recognizes that cops have to make split-second decisions. But what transpired leading up to the shooting? The lawsuit alleges the initial stop was unlawful altogether. And it just so happens that investigative post reporter Daniela Porat reported Wednesday the police department's housing unit and strike force, which officers Aquino and Tedesco are a part of, had conducted unlawful stops before. Judges have found that, you know, seized guns and drugs could not be admitted into evidence because it was the manner in which these officers searched individuals, stopped individuals that made that their actions unconstitutional. Burton alleges that Hernandez Rossi pulled Aquino into his car. The lawsuit alleges Aquino reached into the car himself and the Hernandez Rossi family wants the truth. In addition to the city and officers Aquino and Tedesco, the lawsuit also names Police Commissioner Daniel Durenda and AMR, the ambulance company that responded as defendants. The lawsuit alleges Durenda should be held responsible for what it claims is a lack of supervision and training of officers. A city spokesperson said Buffalo does not comment on pending litigation. Erica Brecker, Channel 2 News.